Yesterday, somebody asked me, how would you use red marine algae to cure epididymitis and diverticulitis? Well, let me show you. Greeting guys, got another one here for you. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, since I've uh, made some content. Life is hectic, I'm sure you guys can understand. But here I am. I am coming today to talk about, someone asked me in the Facebook group, how did you use red marine algae to heal your epididymitis and your diverticulitis? And I have to tell you guys, the information is out there. I wrote it in a book. If you guys haven't got the book, go get the book. I go into detail what you need to get rid of epididymitis and diverticulitis. So, the red marine algae that I used, red dose, and uh, I used a couple actually. I used a lot of, a lot of different algaes. But red dulse was one of my main ones and uh, sea moss. Now, why does sea moss and red dulse or red marine algae work so well when it's fighting epididymitis and diverticulitis? Well, there's a thing in uh, marine algae called fokudan. I'm not saying that. I know for a fact I'm not saying that right. But here, I'm going to write it over here so y'all can see. This thing stops the swelling. It's anti-inflammatory. This is the ingredient in marine algae. This beautiful red creature, this beautiful red species, this beautiful red plant. It is anti-inflammatory. There's ingredients in the plant that stops the swelling. If you have inflammation in your back, you take some of this red marine algae. If you have inflammation, swelling in your knees, in your stomach, or in your epididymitis, epididymis tubes. It is swelling, it's inflammation. Red marine algae has ingredients in it to stop the swelling. You guys are sleeping on Mother Earth. We have a knack or a process to where we automatically assume that a doctor is going to heal us. We automatically assume, oh, I'm hurting here. Let me run to the doctor. He's going to give me some pills, some pharmaceutical pills. Do you guys not realize that Johnson & Johnson been sued because some of their products been known to cause cancer? And these are the people that we want to heal us from disease. It's impossible. Cannot happen. You have to go to Mother Earth. And this is why I make videos for you guys to teach you how to heal yourself. And you don't have to constantly go to the doctor. Because let me tell you something. With Mother Earth healing, you might use some of this stuff to heal back pain, for example. 
You might start taking turmeric, ginger, exercising. You might start taking uh, vitamin C, fasting, a lot of different things to heal your body. It, you might use this stuff to heal one thing, like some herbs. But it will start to heal other things in your body. Pharmaceuticals don't work like that. You take uh, an aspirin pill for migraines. It's not going to stop back pain. It's not going to heal your gut. It's not going to shrink cancer cells or tumor cells. It's not going to do any of that. It might help your migraine. That's it. That is it. And it's going to cause other side effects. That's why they tell you, you can't take too many of these. But you can eat a lot of garlic. You can eat a lot of turmeric. You can eat a lot of ginger. Not only is it going to help your back, but it's anti-inflammatory. It's going to shrink the swelling in your body. It's going to fight cancer cells. It's going to stop, suppress tumor growth. And this is why in the book, I tell you guys who suffer from epididymitis and diverticulitis, red marine algae, it is highly, 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 highly anti-inflammatory and anti-viral. One of the causes of epididymitis is viral infections. So this is a double whammy. It'll stop the swelling and suppress viral replications. Oh man, Mother Earth is beautiful. She is kind. She is glorious. She gives. All she does is give. And mankind does nothing but destroy her. My apologies, Mother Earth. You are a beautiful goddess. We must take care of you. Because you give us nutrition. You give us health. You give us life. Oh, let me get off traffic here. But anyway. Red dose is what I used. Red dose is a highly nutritious form of red marine algae. And like I said in the book. If an STD is causing your epididymitis, red marine algae may help keep the virus from replicating. And red marine algae has anti-inflammatory and antiviral compounds. It helps aid the immune system. I'm going to leave a link in the video below on what the red dose that I used. But you guys are free to use any red dose or red marine algae that you like. I'm giving you guys the information to heal yourself, to take care of yourself. It is up to you to figure out what's best for you. Go get some red marine algae. If you are suffering from epididymitis and diverticulitis, if you're suffering from a lot of different things, it's not just those two things that red marine algae will help. But if you suffer from these two illnesses, if you have an STD, red marine algae is your friend. Do not turn your back on Mother Earth. She's here on her knees with open arms. Willing to help anybody who wants her. I'm giving you guys the information.
Red Dose, Red Marine Algae. This is part one. On the next video, I'm going to show you how I used it. This video, I'm showing you why I used it. So click all the links below. Yeah.